Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, we're going to go to page six. I will list the article right in all of the uh, details in the description, as I always do. And this is in the celebrities column, and it says, Wendy Williams' son, Kevin Hunter Jr., evicted from $2 million Miami apartment. Wendy Williams' son was evicted from his $2 million apartment in Miami after he paid failed to pay 70000 in rent. Kevin Hunter Jr. was hit with an, an eviction lawsuit in August after failing to pay monthly rent since February, documents obtained by Page Six reveal. The complaint includes a copy of Hunter's lease, which shows Williams paid $100,000 up front for the first year of the apartment. Hunter's response, which was filled uh, excuse me, filed about two weeks later, owns up to failed rent and explains that he was unable to pay it because his famed mother went through some health issues that resulted in her finances being placed under the court's control. <laughs> all of this happened suddenly and all of the financial support that she always gives me stopped including my housing, Hunter, age 22, wrote. Mm. Even though my name is on the lease, my mom was paying, and for medical and legal reasons, she has not been able to pay the rent for the past month, uh, the past months since, one, since the one-year lease ended, and the court has controlled her finances. Hunter said his mother's health issues happened very quickly and unexpectedly and noted that he had to take a year off of school during the COVID-19 pandemic to care for the former talk show host. He also explained that he had found temporary housing and had already made arrangements to move out of the apartment that was attempting to evict him on September 14th. The court ruled in the apartment building's favor and had Hunter evicted. The U.S. Sun said the first uh, was the first to report the news. However, page six can also reveal that Hunter was hit with a separate eviction lawsuit in Miami on August 31st, 2021. A different apartment complex in Miami sued to remove the college student from the pre from his premises after he failed to move out on all by August 10th when his lease had ended the case was ultimately dismissed because Hunter moved out uh, on his own accord and into a new apartment that sued him a judge ruled that Williams age 58 should be placed under a guardian in February of 2022 at the Wells Fargo expressed concern about Williams' behavior. My thing is that I've been asking questions about my money and when I begin when I begin questioning when I begin asking questions, excuse me, about money suddenly Lori Schiffler has got no response regarding my money. I want my money. This is not fair, Williams said in a video posted to Instagram in response. Uh, Schiller is Williams' former financial advisor who allegedly led Wells Fargo to freeze the talk show host's account after claiming she was unsound of mind to handle her affairs. Uh, Schiller told Page Six exclusively in November that she didn't pursue the guardianship for Williams but rather Wells Fargo's as an institution did because of a pattern of behavior that made issues apparent. Despite the bank fighting for control, Schiller said she received death threats. I have 24-hour armed police officers outside of my house, kind of venting, every, um, betting, excuse me, everyone that comes to my front door is starting to affect my life. I'm a prisoner in my own home, she told, adding that her continued she uh, her continued work on the account has been putting her family at risk. 
I'm kind of living in my own personal hell here, she said. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, damn, that's crazy. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a domino effect, you know, once the matriarch um, of that family, which was Wendy, which is Wendy Williams, um, went through her health belt, you know, things just turned for the worse and it was a domino effect. Um, not only has her son, uh, faced issues with eviction and things of that nature, but also her ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, who just recently went in, you know, I think he filed a motion or a petition or something, um, in regards to him not being able to pay his, uh, bills because of alimony. So, um... Yeah, just a tragic... I mean, I'm not really concerned or worried about Kevin Hunter. That's just my opinion. Kevin Hunter is a grown man. Kevin Hunter can take care of himself. Kevin Hunter also has a a, a, a partner, a relationship. Uh, and in relationships, it's 50-50. Y'all both contribute, okay? As far as he's concerned. But that's just my opinion, Okay. Um, as far as her son, um, he's 22, uh, maybe it's time for him to find other means of income, I understand, uh, parents, they want to help their children and things like that, but a lot of times, even if you're not a celebrity, as parents, um, it is a struggle to, uh, essentially know when to officially all the way kick your kids out the nest as as they say um not so much kick them out the nest but let them have their own independence and strive for their independence i would never teach my kids to rely on me or let alone anyone to you know further their goals and dreams um i believe that they should do that on their own uh their own accord but i will help them the best way that i can um, for as long as I can. However, uh, this is story with Wendy Williams is just a perfect example of how um, things can change uh, sometimes for the worse, unfortunately. And, you know, uh, the people that you support, um, you know, take care of, provide for, uh, they are also hit with, you know, financial struggles as well so you know um the best of luck to kevin hunter jr and i hope that he is able uh to find other means of uh you know just funding his lifestyle or downsize for right now um until the issue is worked out i mean this story is still ongoing it has been for quite a while and um, I just hope that, you know, everything works out for him and his mom, you know. And, um, hey, I don't know. But y'all let me know down in the comment section. As always, we chop it up, get the comments. Thank you guys so much um, also for watching my video. And thank you guys so much for coming out on that Dion Sanders video. I truly do appreciate that so much. Um yeah, like, I woke up and I was like, wow, comments and all that, you know, so thank you guys, um, truly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and with that, you guys, I will talk to you in the next video.